Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA Vice City Stories. On this part, we're going to be doing Marty's missions here. So let's get started here. Marty the Scumbag. Um, I really hate this guy. I really don't like this guy. Um, this guy's one of the most hated um, GTA characters. Hello? Marty? Phil Cassidy sent me. Oh, hi. Marty ain't home or nothing. Oh, okay. Well, do you know when he's gonna be back? I don't know nothing. There's Marty. Excuse me. What do you want, boy? Nothing. Are you Marty? No. Now get gone, boy. Bitch! Bitch! Get your sorry ass out here! I thought I told you to clean this shit up. Marty, Mary Beth's been sick. Don't be using that baby as an excuse, Louise. Because I'll hit her as well as you. Are you Louise? I'm a friend of Phil's. Friend of Phil's? Well, why don't you say so, boy? I'm Marty J. Williams. I was too busy watching you threaten your wife. Well, we was only playing around, boy. He didn't mean nothing by it. He only hits me when I deserve it. Oh, yeah? Well, Phil says you guys might have some work for me. I'm Vic Vance. Yeah, sure. I got a few things need taken care of right now, as a matter of fact. Drive me. And Louise, you better have this shit cleaned up before I get back. You got me? Damn, I really, I really don't like Marty. Like, the first second that I, the first cutscene I saw him here, I wanted to kill him right away. What business interest of mine is having trouble with some idiots I need putting straight? What business are you in? I look after people and they look after me. Sometimes I have to remind them of their obligations if they don't. But mostly I just mind my own business. You mind yours, pal. Okay, we're here. Now get on in there and teach them idiots a lesson. You're not coming? Why would I employ a dog and then bark myself? Go sick him, pal. Marty's, of course, gonna sit out here. He's not gonna help at all. <laughs> I was trained to fight, Frank. Okay, so that uh, that uh, that was the cholos that were guarding the store, and this is basically a protection money um, racket. That's what Marty runs. His trailer park gang runs this. Please, I can't afford to pay any more protection. You don't pay, you don't stay. Fuck this place up. Who the hell is this hero? <laughs> oh, let's get rid of the guy with the gun first. You're gonna be sorry. Damn, okay. <laughs> mess with me, SA. Who's the chingo now? Got them all. You done real good, Vic. M Marty? He's with you? What are you doing letting scum in your store? My protection don't run a no daily visit. Are you hot for me, boy? Is that it? You wanna see my pretty face here every day? What? I mean, I... No! For wasting my time, your protection rate just went up. Yeah, um... So basically, this, uh... Come on, Vic. These Cholo boys normally protect a store nearby. Now it's gonna need new protection. Let's go get it. So this guy, who this guy is, this is Phil Casty's brother-in-law. Um, uh, he is, um, uh, uh, Phil Casty's sister is actually Luis. Um, uh, his, soon enough. his Come wife, uh, Marty's wife. To the mail. Step on it. And so this is basically a protection racket. Now, the Mafia became the most infamous for doing these, um, and protection rackets, you know, these go back well over a hundred years. Um, uh, you know, this extortion scam has been going on for a long time. This isn't a, the extortion, like, protection money, um, rackets, they're not as common today. Like, this is the 80s, so they were much more common back then, but today, you know, uh, they're this not as it. common. Let's get in there and bring them into the fold. Police have cracked down a lot on this, um, uh, on these protection racket schemes. They still do exist, but not as much as they did back in the day. But I pay 
give protection to the Cholo. I don't see them protecting you any. Vic, get to work. Marty, this ain't right. You want to get paid? Be a man. Or are you all hat and no cattle? So you see, this is why Vic is one of the most moral GTA protagonists, because he doesn't want to do this stuff. He sees that it's wrong. Um, he wanted to have a career in the army, but unfortunately that got ruined by Martinez. Please! I don't want any trouble! That's why you need us! Please! No, please! Uh, what is the button to... There's a button to aim, um, manually, I think. Um, oh, there's a bat here. I was gonna use that. This is Cholo Turf. What the? Oh, great. Yeah, of course, Marty, don't help. Okay. Don't make me do this. Okay, I'll pay, I'll pay. You done a man's job today. I might have more work for you. See you around. So basically, um, what I was saying, how these um these protection um uh, these protection money rackets, how these basically work. Um, the uh, uh, idea of them is oftentimes like a gang will come into like a store and they'll be nice at first They'll tell like the owner like, you know, this is like a not not so good part of town We can protect you for a fee, um, you know, keep bad people away from your store Keep your store from getting destroyed, you know, stuff like that And if the owner says no, they will then threaten them They could beat them up, they could just break a lot of stuff in the store until they accept So basically the people got no choice And the thing is though, the whole thing is a scam because even when people pay the protection money, oftentimes they're not protected. So you saw in that case that um, Marty was being a hypocrite because he said to that second store, he's like, oh, well, I don't see the Cholos protecting you. Well, that first store was actually paying protection money to Marty's gang, and then the Cholos came in. But Marty wasn't protecting that store. So they were paying him a fee to protect, uh, protect their store, and Marty wasn't protecting the store. So these, these are like one of the worst schemes ever. And these happen on like mom and pop shops, like you know, small stores, you know, usually in poorer neighborhoods. Um, they don't really happen to large scale stores. The large scale stores oftentimes have much more resources and can get police involved, but if you're like a small store in like a bad part of town, it's very hard to like um, uh, do something when there's a whole gang threatening you. <laughs> hey, Louise. Hey, Vic, how you keeping? Uh, better now. Good. Hey, don't stop. I'm waiting for Marty. No, it's nice to talk to someone. So, Phil said you was in the service? Uh, yeah, but I screwed up. You and me both. Damn it, woman. If you're gonna dress like a whore, I'm gonna turn you out. I was doing my aerobics, Marty. But crying out loud, give me a break. I will. A broken fucking neck. You watch your mouth in my goddamn house. Sorry. Now look what you gone and done, you imbecile. Jesus, woman. My hey, God, this guy. What's up, Vic Vance? You said you might have some other work. Yeah, yeah, sure. I got some debt people need to start paying. Well, I, uh, if you don't shut that bread up, woman, I will. This Screw is... you, Marty! You're nothing but an inbred hillbilly piece of shit! You better watch your mouth, Tramp, or I'll knock them teeth out! That's it! I'm taking the baby and I'm going to stay with my sister! Good! Go ahead, go! Fat-ass pig sister of hers. I'll hit her and all, too. Come on. This is one of the most hated characters ever, this guy. Like, you just don't even want to do missions for this guy because of just how much of a scumbag he is. Like, this guy is a real piece of crap. And characters like, uh, these were specifically designed for you to hate them. Your mama blew me for a right. Here's a list of shit needs repossessing. I don't think you got the stones to get it for me. Prove me wrong. Uh... Steal the first car and take it back to Marty's, okay. Hey! 
speed! Son of a bitch, that's my car! Don't take it personally, pal. Who sent you, man? Okay, let's get out of here. So look, we're driving a sports car now. Uh, this is the Cheetah, I believe, this car. Track and recover the second car, okay. Oh, look, it's the same car Ken Rosenberg drives in the beginning of Vice City. I wish that I could play the radio for you guys in this game. Like, I just love a lot of the, the 1980s music, but unfortunately, you guys know what happens. The second I play any of that, Music Mafia copyright um, claims the video. I might want to wait till I get to a red light, because um, if I stop right in front of them, they might just um, panic. Sometimes the NPCs do that. Um, let's see. Are they going to stop? Oh, they're going to stop. Okay. Give me this car. Oh, no, there's a cop right there, too. I paid Marty off weeks ago, man. What? That cop didn't do anything. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow, well, that looks like the cop didn't do anything at all. That was weird. I literally was expecting him to come after me, and he didn't do anything. Intercept a delivery van. Oh, that one's okay. It's a little bit more uptown. What the hell are you doing? It looks like I'm taking your truck. That's what I'm doing. I need that teeth, donkey boy. Oh great, we got a one level two. Come on, asshole. Oh no. Oh wonderful. Look at the situation that I got right now. Oh, there's armor here, but I'm already full on that. Alright, uh this GTA game has no climbing. There's a, f uh, yeah, no climbing in this one. Oh, come on, I gotta, oh, I'm trapped at a dead end right now. Did that NPC fall in the water? Because I heard, like, water just now. Okay, where are the cops and everybody? Okay, I'm... Take the van back to the lockup. Okay, looks like what do we got here? TVs and VCR players. 1980s, again, remember, so there's VCR players. These don't really, nobody really uses these anymore. You know, the big cassette tapes, huh? This truck is actually pretty fast, you know, for being a truck this big and having that much stuff in the back, um, it's actually pretty fast. I'm actually surprised at how fast this truck is. Hank, get that van out of here! Why do I get the impression none of those debts were genuine? Whatever I say is mine is mine. And what I say goes. If you want to get on around here, you'll learn that one, kid. Damn with this guy. Oh, we got a our pager. Who's it? Luis, drop by if you get time. Okay, so Luis has moved out of Marty's um uh, trailer, and now she's living with her sister. And uh, you can do uh, missions for Luis, but we're gonna finish up uh, Marty's missions here. Waking up the neighbors. So it seems I got some competition. What do you mean? 
them damn cholos are trying to muscle in on my repo business. It's time I sent them a message. Grenades? I just want to make sure they hear what I have to say. So now we're gonna be blowing up um, uh, cholo vans. Um, is that um? Wow, well, that sports car that I had here disappeared. Okay, whatever. I guess we're doing this with Marty's truck. It's just a tool. And look, here we now have the Uzi. Okay, so we got a submachine gun now. I will take this. I, I prefer the bike. Welcome to Vice City. Okay, so the Cholos are trying to kill us now. Ah. Uh, this damaged the bike, not good. Here, have a grenade. Okay, well, we got plenty of SMG ammo right now. Now he's in charge. I'm gonna be a película. See you safe. You little bitch move. There we go. I just love that uh, mission theme, it's so 80s, um, when you, uh, pass it. It's time to diversify my inches, Vince! Vic! Whatever! We're going into the whoring business! We're gonna take over place up yonder! Once we're in, it's party time! Yes sir, e boy! I just got me an inch I need scratching! Shame you're queer, boy! I might have tossed you a bone! Thanks, but I don't need you tossing my bone. Just get up there and clean the damn place out, Vince. He literally said his name is Vic, not Vince. The Scorpion. I actually forgot the Scorpion was in this game. I, I actually completely forgot about that. The Scorpion, I think the Scorpion is only in, um... I think it's only in, um, uh... Yeah, it's only in GTA V. It's the only one where it is. Destroy the gang vehicle to trigger attacks on a business. And this is where you learn about building your own criminal empire in this game. That's what I liked about Vice City and Vice City Stories, about building your criminal empire. What the white? It's not firing. Real cool. We're 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 really pissing off the cholos. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. I Bobby don't kill me. You want to get shot, friend? After you successfully attack the rival site, will become available for purchase. So that's how it works. You just kill a gang, and then you can just purchase the building. <laughs> now we got this car in front of the gang hideout. Can I take it? Oh, I can. Yes.
I think this is Marty's final mission now. <laughs> so I said, what kind of name is Thorkill? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he is, tough boy, the big man. <laughs> How high can you jump, boy? Boy? Oh, you're pretty tough, you inbred piece of white trash. Why don't you come down here and ask me that again, huh? <laughs> I ain't scared of you. Oh, yeah? Then why is your voice cracking, boy? All right, all right, enough. I ain't scared. You stop disturbing the goddamn neighbors with this bullshit. I'm just saying. I pay you to help me, not to argue. You hear? Loud and clear, yeah. boss. Good. Now, we got some problems with them cholos. They've been threatening my girls. Now, I want you to teach them some respect. Anyway, I told him, you bring her over to me. I don't care if she's 14. I like her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, like, there's so many things wrong with Marty and his gang. It's just, oh, man. Such despicable people. Okay, now, I don't remember what you have to do in this mission here. You start um, with us? We're gonna finish you. All you streetwalkers are gonna die! Yeah, so no the Cholos are pissed. With the Cholo. Get a vehicle with at least four seats. Oh, here we go. Oh, we have to uh, save the girls, um, the prostitutes in this one that are working for Marty. Um, Over here, quick! Relax, we've got more than rubbers for protection. What? Where did... What? Where, where did she just go? Oh, now she's in the car, what? Like, she just dived into the car and just disappeared. Okay. Great. Come on, let's go. Move your bitch ass. Damn, they took out that that cholo car really fast. No place for a lady. Wow, the cops in Vice City are useless. Like, they, they, how did they not react to this? Oh my god, this car is about to blow up now. That was fun. Baby, you're incredible. Just glad to be of service, ladies. Take it easy, girls. Look after yourselves out there. So that is um, right there. That's um, Marty's final mission. So I guess we'll probably wrap it up here. On the next part, we'll do Luis's missions. So um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed this series, please do drop a like on it because it does help this series out a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.